Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Cloud here, and today this is my guide on the Song from the Depths quest. Before we get going with this guide, we're just going to go over a few things which are the requirements and items needed to complete this quest. Now, there are no actual skill specific requirements for this quest, however, um, a high constitution level will come in handy. Obviously, have it as high as you can before doing this quest, as various things throughout it will try and hurt you, and obviously, the higher it is, the quicker you'll get through the quest. Also, if you have 80 constitution or high, you can get some extra XP rewards at the end, so they may be handy to have. There's also no items really required to complete this quest, however, having some food and armor will help dramatically throughout this. So that's it for requirements and items, now onto the quest start point. So at the moment you can see we're at Port Sarim, just next to the uh, Port Sarim Lodestone, which you can get here through the Lodestone network. And from here we're going to head to the quest start point, which is in Remington, and also being displayed on a little pop-up map now being shown to you. Once you reach this house and head inside, you should see a girl um, called Lucille, and if you speak to her, she'll um, get you to start the quest. So going through the dialogue, basically a lot of the villagers have been falling into a deep sleep and um, haven't been able to wake up. One of them is her husband, Waylon, and also she'll mention the raptor has also come to try and offer help. Um, she'll give you a restless sleep potion, which you'll need in a few minutes. So once you finish going through the dialogue, you want to drink the um, sleep potion that she gave you and you'll enter like a dreamlike state and you'll start seeing all these souls walking around and we now want to follow these souls to where they're heading. So if you see where I'm going, basically there's a cave um, a bit further up which you can go inside once you reach up to it. Okay, once you enter the cave, you'll see um, this voice is talking to you in the background, um, and also you eventually you'll see that the raptor is also in here. If you head over and speak to him, he'll basically tell you that he's not going to try and save anyone, and he's just trying to find the cause of um, the rest of the sleep for the souls, um, and will proceed to walk off, and you want to follow after him. So as you head through this next room, you'll be in a slight um, maze that you need to get through. Now this, um, the voice that is talking to you um, will actually give you hints in the um, stuff she's saying, like there'll be words of like north, east, south and west, which will guide you through the cave. But instead of you having to pay attention to that, I'll just tell you where to go. So first you want to head through the north, and then once you do that, head through the west then the south and then the east. It's fairly easy to do, so you should see. And also you might be able to see the souls, which way they're heading in case you don't see where you're going. After you've gone through, you'll see another cutscene where souls are walking through an invisible door to you. So, to open the door, we need to find these hidden symbols, and they're fairly easy to find. You just um, come across them by walking over the area, but I'll tell you whereabouts to find them. So you'll find the first one in the northeast corner of the room. Um, it should be about two steps south of the wall, and about two steps um, east of the fissure in the ground. You should come across it. Just do what I do, and like, run around that spot a little bit. And then the other one is just in the northwest section, um, a little bit southwest of the wavy looking part of the ground. After you do that, the um, doorway should appear in a random corner of the room. I think it's different for each player and um, you'll have to enter it. Just make sure it's not the door you originally came through. And um, once you do that, you'll have to find another few symbols. So these ones are a little bit easier to find, I think. So if you head to where like this central fissure is and head to the west or side, you'll come across the symbol. Again, just do like what I do and run around the different areas just until you come across it. Then there should be another one towards the um, west of the northern fissure, just up here. And then um, between the central and eastern fissures, there should be one more. So you should come across um, another door then and we'll tell you another story. Again, make sure you head through the right door, not the one that you just came through. Okay, another cutscene will take place where souls go through another doorway and you'll now enter a room with four elemental pots and a sapling which you need to make a tree and again the haunting voice uh, does help you but the idea is you want to nurse the uh, burning sapling back into a healthy tree so if you do what I am um, saying this you should find it easy enough. Also the examine option will come quite in handy for you so just make sure you have that. So first you want to take the burning sapling which is in the uh, centre of the room and put it in the water pot. Um, if you examine each pot it will tell you what it basically is so um, you won't put it in the wrong one it should then uh, douse out the fire and then you want to walk through the doorway which um, has water coming from it so again if you examine the door it will soon tell you what element it is head through that door and you should come back out again and the, sa uh, the sapling should be different so if you go where you um, put it um, sorry if you go where you put it in the water pot and pick it up it should have uh, changed slightly and now you want to put that one into the living fungi pot so again use the examine tool to find it and it will give uh, the sapling life 
you then want to walk through the living fungi um, doorway which is to the southwest I believe so again use the exam tool if you're not too sure once you come back through again and uh, there's more dialogue you now want to put the sapling in the ivy pot to the southeast and um, which will allow it to grow quickly and again walk through the ivy doorway and then finally as you come back out you then want to put it into the cobweb pot and uh, head to the northeast door which will give it time to develop and walk through the uh, cobweb doorway as you come back through the sapling should be fully grown into a tree and then you should be able to go across the, um, the crater which was originally there and go into the final room so you'll come up to another cutscene where the spirits are like walking off an edge and you'll come across the raptor who um, jumps as well uh, you want to jump off as well and there'll be another little cutscene where you get eaten by the queen black dragon yummy cloud flavor <laughs> So as the cutscene ends, you'll um, awaken in the inside of the dragon's stomach and you have to work your way through it. Now, this is really easy to do. you just got to keep heading to the other side of the stomach to go through another bit. What you want to do is where you see um, all these like green acid on the floor, try not to walk through them as it just hurts you so it causes like you know unnecessary damage obviously if you've got food with you you can heal if you just want to run through them all but it's not that hard to dodge them as you can see as I'm doing I'm, I accidentally walk into them a couple of times but it's uh, not too difficult there's also like level 2 grot worms and um, flying leeches that attack you um, regardless of your combat level but they really don't hit you it's more the acid that will cause more damage if anything so what I want to do is keep heading all the way through all these different rooms doing like the same tactic which I've already told you about and eventually you'll come across the uh, siren. So as you start talking to the siren, she doesn't actually realise where she is um, and as you talk through her, eventually she'll realise what's been happening and that the dragon has been using her to um, attract the souls so she can consume them. Um, after that, you offer her to help escape uh, and a cutscene will show that the raptor um, enters the stomach as well who intends to kill the siren, but talking to him, you should be able to tell him not to and uh, she'll inform you to pick up the coral crossbow on the floor and burst the um, cyst. Yeah, I think this all happens automatically, so you know have to really worry about this too much um, the dragon will then go mental and speak you all back out and another cutscene will take place So yeah, a bit of a lucky escape there for you and the raptor. <laughs> so um, after speaking to him, he'll basically say like he's got a new target now. He'll be intended to fight the Queen Black Dragon. And he'll also recommend that you go back and speak to Lucille and tell her um, what has happened. And hopefully that the souls should have returned to their original bodies. So as we head back to the house, you'll see Lucille is speaking to Wayland, who's awoken from his um, dream. And you should be able to speak to her to finish the quest. So, once you've finished speaking to her, it should come up with congratulations, you've completed the song from the Depths quest, you're awarded with one quest point, 700 constitution experience, a coral crossbow, 50 coral bolts, Remora's necklace, which you can use to teleport um, just outside the Queen Black Dragon's lair once a day, um, reduced incoming damage when fighting the Queen Black Dragon, and also the ability to fight her, obviously bearing in mind you uh, are confident enough and have the skills to take her on, so be a bit of a challenge. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of this quest, there is a um, way of getting 30,000 constitution experience as well. Um, so obviously if you want to do that, just carry on watching this guide. If not, thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe, etc. And good luck for fighting the Queen Black Dragon. Anyways, um, we're going to show you how to get the 30,000 constitution experience. It's very easy to do. So what you want to do is head to the cave that you originally entered right at the beginning of the quest, like when you were following the soul. So obviously um, I've got a little icon being displayed where to head. Um, as you go up there and enter, there'll be like an acid pool, which you need to swim through, which requires 50 constitution. Um, obviously, you go through that and it will harm you, but it won't be enough to kill you, so don't worry about that. Um, as you go through, there'll be an only door that you can go through um, on the east. And then once you go through there, there'll be another slight maze like you've done earlier. Um, to get through, you want to go west, south, east, and then north. The cat 
Once you go through, you should find on the wall there is an ancient writing. If you read that, you'll get 5,000 constitution experience. And then if you turn around, there's another acid pull. This is what requires you 80 constitution. And again, will cause you a bit of damage, but won't kill you. You can swim through that and read the remaining wall for the other 25,000 constitution experience. So, so yeah, 30,000 constitution experience and very easy to acquire. So not too bad at all. But yeah, that's it for all of my guy completely. At the moment, this quest um, hasn't got a requirement to complete any other ones. But obviously, if they upload a sequel, I will uh, put a little annotation link into that guide. Um, the main um, you know, reward for finishing this quest is being able to take on the Queen Black Dragon. So, she's a challenge. I haven't faced her myself as of yet, so we will see. Um, I'll probably do some footage of me fighting her when I get the chance to. But I wish you all the best of luck of taking her on and hopefully to get you guys some good drops. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all for my guide. If you have any problems at all or get stuck, please leave a message in the comment section below. If not, thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you give us a like, favourite and subscribe. And don't forget to share the guide if it's helped you. Cheers everyone. Bye bye.